So John Ox, you've less than a week to go now until the 1,000 guineas at Newmarket. How is Skitter's Catter? She's very well. She's had a good preparation. We've been happy. Uh, no great setbacks. Uh, she you know, was a little, she had a bit of a cough in February and she was a bit backward in her coat for a while. But uh, last month she's come on well. And we're happy with her work and, you know, everything is is uh, on schedule so far so good we keep our fingers crossed now for the for the rest of the week in march you told the racing post you hadn't really sort of pressed her on the gallops presumably you have now what's she shown you yes yeah, she's actually we've been pleased with her work her work has been good uh consistent she's a good worker she's not a flamboyant worker she doesn't uh, you know when she's when she feels she's done her work she's quite happy not to extend too much and uh, but she has been enthusiastic and uh, uh, we've been delighted with her moving well you know taking her work in her stride eating up well afterwards so um, yeah she's come on well over the last three weeks Excellent. and of course she she showed great improvement last year through her runs do you think she's likely to come on again for that or are you hoping she has you know you don't know uh, she did come on uh, as the year went on for sure she improved and she certainly improved when she went up to seven furlongs uh, her, her form took on a different level when she stretched up in distance but um, we don't know if she's improved uh, if she could stay the same we'd be that'd be the first task if we can just have her as good as Patrick had her last year we'd be delighted with that because she's got a high rating and a high level of form so you know that would be good enough whether she can improve <clears throat> who knows we don't we, we'll find out as we go along and yet to race over a mile but presumably that dry forecast you alluded to will help with that won't it that's right uh, it's a new distance so you know you you hope she'll stay she she's she was finishing out her races over seven very well so you'd hope she would but you never know until they go they're put to the test she's not going to be a big stare a mile i'd imagine be her absolute max um, so we'll have to see, uh, but yeah, good ground, uh, she goes on good fast ground. She won the Moid Lair on almost soft, so she may well be a little more versatile than we might have thought, but you know, time will tell, we'll, at some stage during the year we'll probably have to put that to the test, but I'm pleased with the going report and the, and the weather forecast. And of course, it's one race at a time, I'm sure, but have you thought about plans for her beyond Newmarket? She was out quite early last year, wasn't she? So. Yeah, well, you know, really it's always, as, as you say, one race at a time, so we're not looking beyond it, but obviously she's an entry in the Irish 1000 guineas and coronation stakes and all that, but really, you know, we just have to take it, take it one step at a time. But she is a Group 1 winner already, so obviously uh, she'll be taking her chance all going well with her and if she's in good shape uh, she'll be taking her chances in the usual races for, for, for fiddies this year at the top level we hope. And of course you took over the training of uh, Skitter's Catter from Patrick Prendergast but he's still involved and presumably that means the sort of transition was quite seamless was it and what's his involvement now? Yeah Patrick uh, is here with me he works he works for me and uh, with me and uh, He's been very helpful, obviously, yeah, it's been a seamless transition because, uh, you know, he delivered her here, he's, he's uh, spoke to me the day she arrived and we speak about her all the time and uh, so I have all the information I need, which was a big help. And, and obviously having a classic contender in your name again, along with an increase in numbers, are you feeling the benefits of that already? Yes, it's nice to have more horses, we didn't have enough in recent years, uh, not to mention the quality of them in recent years but so we have a better a more uh, a more competitive string I hope this year and uh, we're looking forward to it yeah the more horses around the place more staff and uh, uh, everything's going well we uh, we just need to get going now and let them find their own spots and win their races and find their level and uh, uh, we're, we're looking forward to the year. And of those other horses, are there any names that really jump out at you that you're excited to run this year? Um, I think they all have to make their name yet. <laughs> so, so we'll see. Skitter Scatter's the only one that's uh, you know had 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 a big success to her name so far. The rest are known known quantities: two-year-olds and some three-year-old maidens for later that are going well at the moment. So uh, yeah, we know we've a couple of good horses with proven form already, but main, mainly horses that have have to have to prove themselves yet.